Dead Space 2, Chapter 14. Great, of course I gotta find another generator. How the hell did that one get made? Tyvan value human life over greed, but still, all this was a big mistake from the start. you
give him out of med kits. Fuck, how much pulse ammo do I have? See the whole thing. Open, come on! Good. Come on, come on, come on. Let there be like a bunch of med packs. Okay, good. This is it, Isaac. Convergence is almost here. Meet me at the marker.
So that's where all that stuff is coming from. Ah, oh, fuck! God damn it, why do we keep getting detonators? who may find this transmission there are people even some of my own staff who say i am a monster for what i brought to the station they say the marker is manipulative that's influenced my decisions they don't understand that what i did i did for this community for our species titan station was a dead husk before i breathed life back into the into it with the government research grants that research into unimaginable sources of energy into manufacturing techniques and efficiencies far beyond all previous understanding is the only hope that remains for mankind we've relied on destructive planet cracking for far too long and now we can no longer sustain ourselves we need the marker to survive if we fail in our efforts to understand them there is no hope left for humanity. Hans Tideman, Director of Operations, Earth Government Colonial Alliance. Wait, were they trying to use the marker as a giant battery? Or am I just not understanding something here? Either way, clearly the risk just wasn't worth the reward.
you throw all this away. Yeah. Oh. Oof. That is brutal. Oh, fuck. Bastard. Was this your great plan? Dump me off and die? Well, bad ideas, remember? Yeah, well, here's another one. I'm crashing through the roof to get you. Wait. Now move your ass. Wait, no, Ellie. Ellie, it's too late. <clears throat> so clear the station. Yeah, well, you don't really have a say this time. Heads up.
<laughs> That's the second most epic explosion he's caused in his life. <laughs> that is such a reference to the first ending. <laughs> I love that. He's like, wait, this happened before. I'm like, oh shit. It's like <laughs> and Ellie was like, what? <laughs> I love this. I love it. This was this was a really good game. It took everything about the first game and just made it even better. Ah, uh, man, like, I also loved how, how the helmets work, like, they can just put themselves back together as they're putting on your head, and what I also liked is how they, each armor set had a different effect going on, and Tideman, even though he tried to kill Isaac the whole time and, you know, help fund all the marker research and stuff like that, he wasn't completely bad, since um, he did some things he was that the overseer didn't want him to do, like evacuate T Titan Station. He like did care about the people on that station, but he did put them all in danger in the first place by using that marker. But uh, still, so like, is that Earth Gov's plan? For the markers? Use them as batteries? I feel like that is very foolish. Or maybe it's just something that I'm missing there because there's still a lot about those markers that just says don't do it no matter what. Because they, uh... Ah, oh, man. It just seems incredibly stupid to, do, to try to build stuff that you know, does all of that. Literally driving people insane. <sighs> Man, but... They did kind of... mess things up in Dead Space 3. Oh, um, after I make the walkthrough for Dead Space 3, I'll give my opinion on that, but, uh... Huh. Yeah, so a lot of the gameplay here is like still the same, but better. Oh, good God, I think the most disturbing enemies in this game weren't just those poor bastards that were fused onto the walls with the tendrils coming out of their torso and the screaming. Like, that was the most disturbing enemy you'd face in Dead Space 1, but I think Dead Space 2 was all oh, those kids, the, the, the necro kids that. I think they're called the pack. I think those were the most disturbing ones, including those baby bombs. I don't know what the hell those, those are called, but you get what I'm talking about. Ah, uh, fuck. Those, like, they just took... It made things more disturbing. Especially with that whole thing at that, uh... That... School. Oh, man.
Yeah, and, uh... Still, though, this... Still, I think that there were still some mysteries that were never solved, like... When Struss was telling him about what they this and they that... Was it the markers? EarthGov? Or... Whoever the hell the Overseer is? And all their plans... Now, I don't think that was something that was ever, um, emphasized. Always, like, and I remember watching Dead Space Aftermath, which, if anybody doesn't know, Dead Space Aftermath was this, like, anthology. It was, no, 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 no. It was, like, this, 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 this animated film that took place between the events of Dead Space 1 and Dead Space 2, where this where another team was sent to what was left of Aegis 7 to recover what was left of the marker. And it was just like one tiny piece, but that was all it took to destroy the entire team. There were only like five people left until EarthGov came and then, well, Strauss was all that was left of that team. And you know what? How the hell did all those other people get hit with the marker? I don't think that was ever explained either. Like, what was the backgrounds of patients one through three? Because Isaac was patient four. No, Strauss was patient five. I think there was a sixth patient. I don't remember. But yeah, it was those patients who like who were the rest of them and what the what 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 maybe there were some audio logs and text files that I missed which I think is a little weird considering that I pretty sure it was thorough and yet yeah I always kept missing it and again there was that one uh, note I found that was inside a supply a supply box from across the way and it was like Oh, holy shit. There was a note in there. Clever. I still think that was pretty clever. Oh, yeah. This came to me. What I liked about Dead Space 2 is, is that it emphasized more about how uh, Isaac is an engineer. I, aside from like all the benches and stuff, I don't think it ever really, you know, encapsulated in his character, even though he didn't really have that much of a personality to speak of in the first game. He never even spoke. And, uh, but here they, they actually put some of his engineering to the test when he had to go through those junction boxes. Like, I remember, like, in the first game, it was mostly him just opening doors, doing diagnostic tech, tech, nah, doing diagnostic checks, and just putting certain objects into place. That was kind of it. Still, though. Both Dead Space 1 and Dead Space 2 were pretty great, and I think they still held up pretty well. And in Dead, and I remember hearing about the Dead Space remake, how they were going to take all the gameplay features with Dead Space 2 and have them in Dead Space 1. And actually have Isaac uh, Clark talk and have a, you know, a an actual personality. Because seriously though, I remembered in the previous game that if that Isaac could have told them several different details about like how like you know like I remember when you find one of the text logs um like no one responded or he didn't send that to any of his friends like he could have found that and explained to them that guys they weren't here to help us at all they were here for the marker they knew about this stuff and they were going to kill everyone on the Ishimura and stuff like that but Nah, I don't know, I'm just talking out of my ass. Uh, 
Okay, I love how the credits, they, they have the marker symbols and then they show the people's real names. My cats. and return to base. The other sites will have to pick up the pieces. Ah, uh, fuck. Yeah, and I remember that's not, like, uh, I don't think Dead Space 3 did a real follow-up on that. It's just, like, afterwards, Isaac was, like, you know, done with this, and things between him and Ellie kind of fell apart, and then they ended up, like, kind of sort of back together near the end of that one, and, and it just... Uh, it was Weird. Whatever. A plus. Yep. Prototype suits unlocked. Elite suit versions of security suit variants unlocked in New Game Plus. Look for new items in the store or and for the schematics lost in the sprawl to get access to this experimental technology. Hardcore mode. You have unlocked the hardcore mode in which you will find the bare minimum of health and ammo to stay alive. When you die, you restart from your last save, and you can only save three times. Yeah, that's for hardcore players only. That ain't me. You have unlocked the new game plus mode. Suits and weapons from your prior playthrough will be available in the first store. Uh, I think that's also cool. Like as you progress through the game, this is and this game is one of those uh, menus where things change as things progress. And yeah, and I remember when I was starting up the game, every time that all that pieces of a marker would start to fly around and they start to form into just this one big marker. I remember seeing a top ten list of menu options that like things change as time goes on. I don't think Dead Space 2 was on that list. I remembered Spec Ops The Line was on that. Like, if you go into the menu and you'd see that there's this sniper, and like as things progress, the sniper would sometimes change positions and would sometimes be looking through the scope and stuff like that. And at the end, he's dead and the whole city's just rotting away. Uh, I remember that. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, Please like and subscribe.